Oh there, Captain Prey here. We have run into some things that we didn't expect on the old Leafon Expect here. Namely, you'll see I've got a lot of this taken off here, but Mr. Uh, sprocket there is loose. I tried to uh, put these back, these little tabs here back, and spin it, and the nut is spinning with it. Uh, this is the only problem Junior has had in two months on this deal. I've already gotten a lot of this taken apart, but what we're going to do is take the whole wheel off, take this and the hub off, and see what it looks like. I've got an idea or a prediction of what it looks like on the back side there, and i got a feeling we're going to be ordering a new hub back there. But we'll take it apart and uh, get back here and show you what we done found out. All right, I don't think we used one cuss word to get that off, which is a bonus. But let's have a look-see here. Here's Mr. Sprocket. There he is. Doesn't look that loose when it's off, but it certainly was when, we, uh, when it was on there. And if you look in here, this is really curious. There's no real way to lock that. And you can see it just spins right in there. So what we're going to do is get our old friend Mr. LT and or Loctite and or cross threading and um, tighten them up with the Loctite and I, I thought we were gonna have to replace this whole dead gum thing but that fortunately does not look like the case so uh, we'll get each one of these off one at a time and in order to do that of course we have to bend these tabs back riot there so that we can drive run that nut out of there now that we can hold the back of it and then we'll just lt those things on there tighten it down to specs and uh reassemble here's the inside there that's all rubber of course and looks like it's doing fine bearing is nice and tight and bearing me and uh We'll get this done and get back at you. Stand by. Okay, this is pretty much gone as expected. Uh, everything's tight, and I put way too much Loctite on them, which is fine. Um, now, if you watch Vice Grip Garage in Darwin or Dwayne, Derek, whatever, he will give it when he's tightening things down, he'll give them ooga doogas. I give them the old high hawarias, so it's about 2.3 high hawarias to get them torqued down, and that's perfect. I'll show you one trick that we did. These are half inch, so we'd either just wedge the old one half inch wrench in there, or I tried this here and took Mr. Screwdriver, and I'd wedge that in there because that does not fit properly in order to hold that bolt whilst you're turning the other side. So I jam that thing in there like a fifth grader jamming two finger, two digits deep into their nose. And I was able to hold that while I tighten them down. So we're going to start the reassembly process and uh, get this thing put back together. I laid this down on the, the brake side is down so that nothing would come out there. I don't know how to reassemble and I don't want to play Sherlock Holmes Encyclopedia Brown figuring it all out so uh, put this back together got a couple of spacers on each side and then retighten up the chain and all that probably ought to wipe that thing down she's a bit dirty all right we get her back back together we'll uh, take her for a test ride Okay, it has been a few weeks later since we did this uh, who dicky there and the uh, dead gum sprocket come loose on us again. So I'm um, trying to evaluate what happened here and I'm thinking when we put this together, we put the Loctite on there and I mean we juiced it on there. And uh, to coin a phrase from 
the Vice Grip Garage channel from Bart or Trevor, Terry, Donovan, Derek. We did the right thing and uh, just went out and drove it right away and didn't leave that uh, <laughs> Loctite time to sit. So what we're going to do is take this apart. I'll show you a couple of things on there, which leads me to believe that those bolts are a little too small but we'll get it taken apart here and uh, show you what we got and show you what our fix is going to be all right first of all flies out here are biting like buggers and i'm flailing my arms around like i'm trying to tell the guy to bunt and another guy to steal third swatting at these dead gum things anywho this is uh the sprocket off again and in here you can see every one of these dead gum things there's a flat spot up here which is where that nut or that bolt head is supposed to come flush with so it doesn't turn well every dead gum one of them things is turning so here's the old one and you can see there's, I think there's a little bit of aluminum in there in them threads from in there. And I think it's starting to water that out. So what we did is we went a size bigger and it just won't quite fit yet. So we're going to put this in the vise and one at a time drill that out just barely enough for this feller to fit. And then I have two nuggets here that we're going to put on and I haven't decided which one to use yet because they're it, both of them are going to be kind of tough to uh, get in there with this lock washer who dicky there look at that thing so dead gum loose anywho that's what we're going to do um, don't know which one of these I'm going to try first but we are going to lock tight the heebie jeebers out of it and let her set overnight and um hopefully get it out tomorrow but uh will get you back when we're a little farther along okay we have the first one in there one thing i did have to do since the head of this here bolt is really big i drilled out the hole inside to fit the uh larger diameter of this here bolt but the bolt head one of the sides wasn't big enough or was too big to fit on that flat spot where uh, it's supposed to keep this from turning so that you can tighten this up without having something on the back side there so what i did is i went over to mr bench grinder and i ground off one of the sides and you'll see i put a black mark right there for me to reference and remember which is the side on the bolt to put in that slot so we've got three more to go may finish this operation tomorrow whilst i was trying to get this dead gum thing drilled out it really wallered a big goofy hole in there so i'm not sure if there's going to be any kind of effectiveness on this at all the uh, two bolts I bought, one was that great big honker, and then there's this one that has the locking type things on there. I think what I'm going to do, and what we're going to do is go ahead and order a new hub, because it should be under warranty. Just going to order that anyway. Going to put this together probably without this, which is not the way to do it safely. Hopefully, that their nugget is going to help uh, lock it in there in lieu of this here thing that is now butchered beyond belief. Um, that's what we're going to do, and we will go from there. All right, here we go. Uh, all of them have been replaced. Oh, by the way, uh, fun fact for you, if you get your finger a little too close to your bench grinder, 
some uh, unplanned things might happen. Oops. Got them all loctited. Took the uh, those keepers off. So every time he rides this, and every couple of minutes, I would suggest, at least in the beginning, to uh, check them to make sure they're not coming out because that would be a bad day. Um, again, we are going to order this new one, a new one, because it should be under warranty. Whilst we had it out, a couple of things that we did, check the bearings here, checked all the fittings, and we will take the air compressor and blow out all this, get her nice and clean, and but we will do that tomorrow but we'll get her put together let this here overnight and um <laughs> i guess we'll see so what most people do is they'll put a bigger sprocket on there anyway that's why i'm not too worried about what we're doing here with this uh, because we are going to get the new hub and probably a bigger two sprocket and we'll change all that out when the time comes so we're going to do that but uh, this might just close up the video. And what I'll end up doing is turning over uh, the me motorcycle expect videos to this feller, Doug. Beware of him. And uh, he has a helmet cam and will be continuing the review. He wants to start his own YouTube channel. So that's what we're going to do. Turn it over to Doug. Beware of Doug. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps any of you that have the uh, Life on Expect motorcycle. Man, this is the only issue we've had with this. And, you know, of course, otherwise, like I've always said, these tinfoil shifters, that's coming soon. Um, get one that's going to withstand the ride. And, uh, we'll get this out. If you have any questions, hit them in the comments. The community of uh, motorcycle riders need to stay tight. And um, I would suggest all you guys to check your uh, nuggets there on the sprocket. Uh, hopefully it's just our issue. This is the way we decided to fix on it this time. But you guys ride safe, wear your gear, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Let me talk here. All right, that is a wrap. We've got her on. Everything went on pretty well, perfectly back together. That is tight. Uh, but that's obviously something that we'll keep an eye on from now on. Uh, Junior here is going to change the Earl and uh, wash this thing. But uh, that's going to wrap up this portion. Uh, I want to send this video out to any of you expect owners so that you, when you come up with something um, like these bent up tinfoil shifters and stuff, that uh, we can keep each other informed on what things to look out for. But otherwise, man, this thing just runs like a top. Very impressed. That's the only issue that he's had with it at all. Um, but... I'll wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. Keep the uh, information coming. If you've got one, any problems you might have, we have not had a problem with, for example, the uh, valves. Haven't had to tighten them or anything. We'll probably check them after a while just for yucks. But um, hope this video helps you. If you got something to help us, let us know. We'll keep on trucking.